Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Guitar 911. Today we are going to check out two basses. One is Ibanez SRFF 800, and another one is Warwick Fortress 5. Let's check out these two basses. So first one I'm going to discuss is about this Warwick. So basically this is this has a nice ash body which is one piece with uh, maple five piece neck and with carbon fiber reinfor reinforcement. It comes with Warwick's MEC pickups. Comes with balance two band electronics active and passive and bass and treble so basically this uh, with everything on max position it sounds like something like this burgundy red burgundy finish and this is made in China so now let's come to the cons so basically when we receive this base for my friend then it was uh, very poorly set up uh, the pickup heights were not adjusted the bridge was not adjusted the action was very high even the neck had a little bit of bow but after setting it up it plays really nice it's really nice and smooth now this comes with uh, a set of allen key and uh, strap locks as well now let's come to this beauty uh, ivanes sr ff 800 which is a four string base and multi-scale so basically this has uh, a swamp ash body, Jatoba Bubinga 5 piece neck, uh, uh, Ibanez tuners, okay, and inline monorail bridge and active electronics, volume, bass, this is volume, bass, mid, treble and this is this switch you can put it to active and passive and this is your tone control you can work. it works in three ways so you can adjust it however you like so it has a nice finish and on the back you can see there is a battery pocket they are given separate so pros is very light in very lightweight this and uh, neck is very nice it's very playable uh, I didn't had any kind of problem with uh, multi scale or fan fret whatever you say but uh, there are some cons I want to say uh, they could have done bit better job with this one this back plate or electronic cover whatever you say it it has a bulge from the body 
you can see and this uh, knobs potentiometer knobs the spots they look really cheap other than that some finish you can say some flaws and finish they could have done a little bit of better job fixing this neck with this body and they could have leveled it a little bit and moreover what you can see is this headstock this is five piece headstock uh, seven piece headstock they have put two little stripes here and here these two places they have put two little stripes they didn't they didn't had this much of wood extra left that is which is uh, really ridiculous and uh, this one is uh, made in indonesia uh, but uh, cons these are the cons mainly and pros is it's really nice and uh, sounds really great uh, you can see it sounds like something something like this uh, you can put everything max max up